long nose pliers, side cutters. These are generally used for grabbing stuff and you can use them for cutting. These are made to cut stuff. They're aggressive. They're actually way oversized for what we're doing here as well. So, and when you're soldering, most importantly, block of wood to solder on. So if you burn the block of wood, nobody gets sad. If you burn the table, a lot of people get sad. So, today we're going to be soldering these wires together. So, I did just break it. it. Correct. <laughs> we're not doing good at English on a Monday, are we? So, these are our two wires that we're going to solder together. So obviously, you can't solder the insulation, it just burns and stinks. So, you need to use side cuts to strip them. The hard part is you've got to cut through the insulation, not the wire. So, I generally cut them a little, rotate and cut again, and then pull it off, and the wire comes out. If you cut too hard, the wire will like, there'll only be a couple of threads left, or there'll be none. So, a little bit of practice. Them really nicely. After you've cut them, the second step is twisting the wire because at the moment if you solder that you're going to end up with like like a digital ponytail which isn't great. So yeah not on your soldering though because your drone will crash or burn or both. So twist the ends so that it's all nicely so there's nothing hanging off. I'm just going to look this thing up. So second stage, twist the ends till they're contained. Oh, the thing I didn't say about this before you put them together, you should usually put the heat shrink on because if there's a component on each end, that was your opportunity to get the heat shrink on. We can cheat because you can slide it over the end, but you definitely need to put the heat shrink on before you put them together. Third part is we twist them together. So make sure each wire twists around the other. It should end up looking almost good enough to use without soldering. It's not, but it looks almost good enough. At this stage, you want to prop the wire up. We don't have the proper holders yet. I'm going to get them. You want to prop it up so you can get underneath and on top. Next step, soldering iron on. We want the temperature somewhere between three, 350 is probably good for this solder. While the soldering iron's heating up, this is your sponge for cleaning the soldering iron tip. If the sponge is dry, the soldering iron will just melt it. So I'm gonna go put some water on. Once it's flashing, it means it's hot. And obviously, pointy end, you don't really wanna to touch it ever. And generally, if you just don't ever touch it, then it's not gonna matter if it's hot or cold. Once this gets to heat, or disco light, that means it's about temperature and it's ready to go. So, clean the tip. It should be really shiny. And basically the soldering arm will melt the solder and it slowly builds up. That's the resin. What you want to do is you want it to melt the solder into the wire. So the best way is with the soldering iron, tiny bit on it, soldering iron underneath and solder from the top until it looks like it's covered in liquid. And that is soldered. Inspect it and see it looks like it's liquid the whole way around. 